so force is uh, any external agent which changes the position of the body or which will try to change the position of the body so for example so let's take an object let us say this is one body so when i apply force it is trying to move suppose if the weight of this object is very high when we apply the force it will try to move means the force tends to move this part so this force can be defined as it is an external agent which will change the position of the body or which tends to change or which tends to change the position of body so it is an external agent which will change the position of body or which tends to change the position of the body so let's take an object so which is resting on a fixed surface let us say now when i apply some force f is a force applied on this object then this body will try to move in this direction or it will try to move in this direction so when this body is moving like this this line we say line of action of that force so what we call this line so this is the line of action of line of action of force now let us see the units of force so force units are newtons so newton is the unit of force now force is a vector we know that force is a vector so which has so vector means it will be having both magnitude direction so force is a vector which has both magnitude and direction so because it is a vector it will have both magnitude and direction so that's why we say force is a vector now let us study the different characteristic properties of the force characteristics are properties of force see force is having the following properties number 1 so magnitude it has a magnitude number 2 direction it has a direction nature 
nature of the force so either it will be a pulling force or it will be a pushing force then the fourth one is point of application of force so at which point we are applying that force see these are the four properties a single force is having so let us discuss the characteristic properties of the force with the help of a simple diagram so let's take an object which is resting on a fixed horizontal surface so let us say a force 10 newtons is acting from point a at an angle of 30 degrees now let us see the four properties from the figure so one is the magnitude so what is the magnitude of force this 10 newtons is the magnitude of force then direction means here it is angle means what is the angle of this force that angle we say direction of that force that is uh, 30 degrees then the nature of the force here it is a pulling force so it will be a pulling in nature then the point of application of force is A so why I am talking about this point A means so if you take an object so when I apply force in this direction the body is moving but when I apply force downward like this when I am applying force downward the body is not moving so when we apply the force at different angle at different points the effect of that force will be different in the different cases for the different forces different angles the effect of that force the motion of that force will be different so these are the four properties a single forces have now let us see the forces the types of forces so basically there are two types of forces so one is the coplanar force system types of forces and system of forces so one is coplanar forces the second one is non coplanar forces so coplanar force means it is a single plane coplanar means it is a single plane so non coplanar means there are different planes non coplanar not in same plane so coplanar forces means all the forces are in a single plane non coplanar forces means all the forces are not in a single plane they are in different planes so coplanar means so let us take a single plane xy non coplanar means there are different planes like x y z so these are the different types of planes now in this again there are different types one is coplanar 
concurrent forces. Coplanar concurrent forces means there is a plane, single plane x, y. Now there are forces like this. Let the force F1, F2, F3. So these are the three forces that are in the same plane. So by extending all the forces means the line of action of all the forces if they are meeting at a common point we say these are concurrent forces and all the forces are in the same plane that's why we say coplanar concurrent forces number two coplanar non-concurrent forces means the forces are in the same plane but if but they are not meeting at a common point then we say non-concurrent forces then the third one is parallel forces means coplanar parallel forces so it is like this there is a force F1 another force F2 there are two forces F1, F2 they are in the same plane and at the same time they are parallel to each other so now these are called coplanar parallel forces if they are not parallel to each other then we say non-parallel forces then the last one is collinear forces so collinear forces means forces are in a same line means like this so let's take the force F1 force F2 two forces are in same line so this F1 F2 are known as a collinear forces so these are the different types of forces under the coplanar forces now let us see the non coplanar forces so one is concurrent forces so non coplanar concurrent forces means the forces are in different planes so there is a force F1 F2 F3 so if we extend the line of action of all the forces if it is a common point then we say concurrent forces they are in the different plane so we say non coplanar concurrent forces if they are not meeting at a common point then we say non concurrent forces now the second one is a parallel forces so let us say there is a force F1 force F2 both are in the different planes still they are parallel to each other so we say non coplanar parallel forces so if these two are not parallel then we say non parallel so these are the different types of forces under coplanar force system and non coplanar force system so this comes under system of forces